Again he enters the world, but now he sees the trap for what it is, a maze that loops back into itself. Uh, I'm here again. He sent me back. Hello and welcome again, once again, to this video, uh, this series. This is uh, Alan Wake, American Nightmare, and my name's Damal DGC. And yes, welcome back to another episode. This is the second episode as of recording, and uh, we're back in the canyon as we were when we set off the last, ep when we ended the last episode. And uh, right, let's see why. My, why is my uh, just give me a moment. I don't know why it's like that. Oh. Hang on. Oops, shit. Didn't want to do that. Right, I have no idea why the camera angle's changed. Um, but we'll deal with it. We'll play through the whole game if we can like this. Uh, yep, we need to pick up flare gun. Oh now it's now it's done the proper camera angle. Right, so there's flash. Uh must be that part of the uh part of the game. Part of the level, sorry. Uh yes, yeah, so uh if you haven't uh seen the previous episode I will put a link or a card in in the description below. Well a link in the description below and a card on the uh, left hand side of the screen um, and uh, right so what, the hell? what yeah what the hell are them whoa fucking no I need to change Oh, you can't even control them. That's it, killed one. Killed another one. Bloody hell. Right. Leading hell, they're hard to kill. Probably need me flash. Uh, yeah, so last time we did that oil, Derek. Um, but we seem to be here. And, uh, yeah, now I've got to talk, talk to Emma again. Bloody hell, I've already talked to her. Oh, shh. Not another one of these bloody guys again. Oh, 
That's it. Right, so it's three shots you need to kill them. It's usually three. Three is usually the number. <laughs> yeah. Three is usually the magic number. If anyone doesn't know that, well now you do. Alright, let's reload that. Uh, oh, there's a shotgun, don't need that. Oh, there's a manuscript. Right. So where the hell... Oh, we've got my best friend. Friends easily. I know plenty of people, but I don't let most of them close. I've known Barry Wheeler ever since we were little boys. We had the time of our lives. I'd get into trouble, and he'd talk us out of it. Things haven't changed that much now that we're grown-ups. <coughs> you could call a weasel, uh, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong. You could call, call a weasel. Clown, and I would reluctantly agree. But he has never let me down. Mm. So you call him a weasel, you'd call him a clown. Fair enough. He's a weasel and a clown. Right, uh, yeah, I'm very sorry. I've still got my blood. Ooh. Oh, shite. What am I doing now? Right, so we need. In Bright Falls, I was constantly under attack need by that one. that were more shadow than flesh and feathers. Yeah. But this is an evolution. Some of the Taken were actually capable of turning into a flock of birds to escape my attacks and turning back into human form to make surprise attacks. Yeah. As we just saw that. Oh, bollocks. Let's get used to these controls. Right. Um, oh, there's a, there's a box there. Let's see what's in that box. Oh. We're probably going to have to do the whole bloody thing again. Oh, SM... No, I'm not having an SMG. SMG's shy. Emma? You here? Uh, this is a bit suspicious. I guess all of it really happened. You remember me? Kind of. I felt weird all day, like I could almost remember a dream I had. And then, just before sunset, I remembered the page. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get those things again. Not all of them. I... I went out and got them. Well, most of them. I felt stupid at first, but then it was getting dark, and those... those things started showing up. And one of them made off with the battery. It ran into the railroad tunnel. There was no way I was going to follow him in there. Sorry. It's good you didn't. You should be careful. I mean, really careful. Yeah, I, I kind of remember something. Something bad happened to me, didn't it? Forget it. It doesn't have to happen again, okay? Just do what I say. Yeah, okay. God, this is too weird. Am I going crazy here? Just mm. go get that battery. Try to stay calm. Caught in a time loop, that's why this is happening again. I, I believe yeah. you. Groundhog Day. Lose it any second now. How come you're not freaking out over this? Because on my personal weird shit meter this just doesn't wait. Look, I know something happened to me before. You're gonna be okay if you just keep cool, okay? Thanks for getting this stuff for me. It's a big help. I hope so. Are you gonna make everything blow up in the oil field again? Hmm. I have to. Well, whatever the hell else you might need, at least you're not boring. Oh, well. I think, she, I think he's got a date there. <laughs> uh, right. So, where the. Right, so she's got everything. She's got the uh, CD, she's got the. Uh, oh. The, Just the, the wheel gauge. And it's just got the battery. Yeah, save time. Just about, probably. 
Right, let's see if there's any other... ...papers I can find. Oh! Hang on, we forgot to do this one last time. Okay. So this chick just came up to me and said she's my biggest fan. I know. They all say that, right? Uh. And she's giving me the eye. So I make a couple of moves. We have a couple of drinks. And then things start happening. But I say I have to go to the bathroom first. Uh oh, right? <coughs> She's got no idea. Watch this. This is going to be priceless. Oh shit. Oh kids, please look Oh Bleed it out. That guy is definitely a bit weird. Bloody hell. Right. Weird is not in his name. <laughs> weird is another thing coming. Right, let's so, so let's see. Nightmare Springs, the cult TV show. Night Springs doesn't exist. Sorry, Night Springs, Nightmare That's a Springs. Town from the TV show I used to work on. It was Any Place USA. A place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the Herald of Darkness. <gasps> it was something I'd written back in the real world, something I had a link to, a framework I could build on. I had adapted it into a new story. That, story. Right, so this is what he's playing through. Right. So it all makes sense now. It all makes sense, guys. It does all make sense. Uh -huh. uh, let's have a look. Okay, people, it's Sandy Rodman here with a few hours to kill. And there's nobody I'd rather spend it with. Nobody else in the whole world. <laughs> oh boy, that'll land me in hot water when I get back home, won't it? Well, just in case my wife is listening, and you always are, aren't you, baby? Let me tell you, you are the exception, honey. And the prettiest lady I ever saw to boot. But I'd really like to spend some quality time with you listeners, because, well, tonight's one of those nights. You're sitting in the studio and you kind of forget how long it's been or what day it is. You just sit here and go through the motions. Might as well have been here forever. You keep talking, but you don't even know what you're saying. It's like you're on automatic. You can't stop the ride and get off. It's times like these that I really wish that somebody had just called in and relieved my boredom. How about it? Anybody? Come on, I'll help the fella out. Our lines are open. Hmm.
Right. Anyway, let's go and get the battery. Uh, right. Hang on, before we do... No, that, the doors are locked in this one, because we haven't got the key yet. There we go, there's flares picked up. Uh, so... Oh. Now Night Springs is in Arizona, although not for long. It's in Arizona because whatever the town that has become Night Springs is really called is located near one of the thin, worn places in the world where dreams and reality flow together and life is always a little strange. Mm. Perfect analogy for Night Springs. I can't return to the real world. I've tried, but I'm operating on dream logic, forcing the door open a crack so I can slip through. Yeah. I can enter the strange little town of Night Springs. All I did was put in in Arizona for one night. Right. Oh shit! This looks bad. This looks like perfectly safe. Yeah, this looks like a trap. Uh, it is a bit weird down here, guys. Oh, shit. We've got spiders. Uh, blocks there. Oh. That was a spider, then. Oh, that's about to try. Now I just need her to charge this up. Whoa. Uh, I need to do the... Bloody spiders. Oh, shit. Let's get out of there quick. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, 
Oh. Spiders are pretty easy to kill. Cause all you need is the uh, flashlight. This is happening. I caught up with him, but he swept me back here. Back in time. Yeah, it's a trap. We'll be doing this forever unless I can get out of it. Yeah. I can do that. I'm working on it. I keep prepared, but things got kind of scrambled when I arrived. I'm tracking down the things I need. Yeah, well, feel free to climb back into your DeLorean or whatever it is you <laughs> DeLorean. As a pop culture reference there. DeLorean. And it weren't that bad cars then. Well, needless to say. Uh, right, there's a manuscript, I think, inside there. Yeah, there's a manuscript on the bloody desk. Oh, bloody. I need to. Go back to the oil fields, do this fucking thing again. Oh shit. Shit. Jesus Christ, that was close. Oh, there's a manuscript. There's a manuscript. There's a manuscript somewhere. Where is it? The manuscript somewhere. Yeah, there's a manuscript behind that barrel. There it is. Mr. Scratch. He has started appearing to me. Mr. Scratch. 
He can travel back into the world effortlessly, and he loves to rub my face in it. At first, it was just an echo in the darkness, a flicker beyond the edge of my vision. Now he started showing himself, getting bolder all the time, telling me what a great time he's having in the world while I'm stuck here, and what he plans to do, especially to Alice. <coughs> all the moves I have left are dangerous and desperate. I have no choice. I have to hunt him. Sweet. Uh, so let's, uh... Let's do this one again. <laughs> right, so... We've got to place the wheel in the aisle, Derek. We've got to place the battery in the switch over there. And we've got to place the CD in the boombox. And this is where I, uh... Well, I'm going to have a copyright claim anyway. I had one, well, uh, the previous episode, so I'm going to have one now. But, right, so anyway, let's get this. Right, there's the old Derek on. Light switch on. I mean, I understand the oil, Derek, uh, the, the wheel, and the switch, but what the hell does the music do? What the hell the point is the music? Yeah. Deja vu. Ah, say I want you. Ah, I don't want you. Oh shit, time to run again. Uh, oh shit. Alice to get hurt again. You want to save it this time? Emma, I'm coming. Shit. That was entertaining. Hey, it's safe now. I got a really bad feeling about all of this. Yeah, so have I. Keys to the diner now. There's a motel key there that I have to get. Oh, hey, you don't have to do that. I have the motel master key. I work for the same company, you know. Um, what's at the motel? Well, 
There's a dead guy. He's got something I need to get into the Mount Redtooth Observatory. That's awful. Hey, um, you wanted to know about the guy who looked like you, didn't you? The last time you said he had a party, and but you didn't go. I, I did go. It was really great at first, and, and then I didn't see it myself, but I hear he turned nasty. He hurt a bunch of guys pretty bad, and there was this girl, he... She died, hmm. but I didn't hear about that until afterwards. I thought that he was so charming. And then he went to the diner. That's that's right. I wasn't involved. I wasn't involved with that at all. I don't know what happened. Fine. I need to check out these motel rooms. In the meantime, <coughs> here, okay? I'm serious. Keep the lights on and stay here. Yeah. Okay. You got it. I sure hope you're right about this. <coughs> You're going to stay here this time, right? Because the last time I didn't and that thing, whatever it is, happened to me. Yeah. I don't want you to get hurt again. Don't worry. I'm going to stay put. I don't remember what happened exactly, but I learned my lesson. Good. It doesn't have to happen exactly the same way this time around. No, it'll and probably happen when you went out slightly out different. I think you're going to be okay. Let's hope you're right. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this. This is going to happen. This is going to be up slightly a bit different. Whoa! Oh! The memory of her own fate haunts Emma Sloan and fills her with dread. This time, she does as she's told. It's not enough to save her. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh no. Actually, I don't want that one just yet. Uh, anything in here? Oh, yeah. We need that manuscript. Friends wakes. Oh, wakes friends. What the hell? Alice and Barry, my wife and my best friend, are easily the two most important people in my life. And they've never really gotten along with each other. I suppose both of them resent the other's intrusions into what they considered their domain. <coughs> After I was done, they maintained an uneasy truce. My book stayed in print, still selling. The licensing machine churned away. She was my wife and controlled the intellectual property. He was my agent and took care of the business. I wish they found more common ground than that. I think they might have. I think they might have. Uh, I, I suspect they probably would have had quite a bit of common ground. <sighs> right. Oh god, the observatory again. It's said that nobody knows what the future might bring, but for this man, it's no longer entirely true. Yeah. A weaker man might simply give up, but the champion of light is an expert on destiny. <laughs> Sometimes the puppet and puppeteer can be one and the same. <coughs> See, after after going through these missions, top littered with man-made eyes that 
yeah. into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the champion of light will depend on them to mm. pick out a message from the ether. <laughs> yeah, after going through these uh, these locations after uh, quite a lot quite for quite a while. Yeah. Knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. Yeah. Find Dr. Meadows' car. That's where the camera should be. Well, you know what you need to do anyway. Hi, <coughs> deja vu. Oh, praise me! You guys are coming through for me. Uh, Whoa! Fucking hell, Christ almighty, that shot me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Attack. Jesus Christ, I didn't think they would run through here. Holy shit. <sighs> oh, I'm gone. There's a page, there's a page, there's a page up there. There's a page somewhere around there, I think. Or is it up there? Might be up there. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to get that. There seems to be a page up there, but I can't freaking get it. Oh, probably can't shoot it down. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll <sighs> uh, be away up there. Rifle. Right. New 
reality fragment the one. The spear in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged. Almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. It had been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end. But it wasn't over yet. And... Cosmological truth. There are places where our world is worn thin, and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington. But there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous. But in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality. Right. Oh, oh! Bloody hell! There's quite a lot of uh, fragments here. Genius, the genius of Mister Scratch. I've seen the enemy, and it's me. Hmm. I faced dark horrors before, things that live in the unimaginable pressures of the world beyond our own. Sometimes they masquerade as humans. That's what ultimately lurks inside Mr. Scratch. He's every mean-spirited tabloid story about me. An evil caricature, a creature formed in that vague territory of misconceptions, half-truths, and the dark imagination of people who heard a story about me. An urban legend made flesh. A serial killer. My dark half, brought to life by the power of Cauldron Lake. Hmm. Uh, um. Uh, no, I need to find a car, don't I? Darkness. from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. Hmm, right. Alright, so we need to get this um, camera. That's it. No, we need to get up to the observatory. Oh, you little sh! These bloody things piss me off now. Come on. Oh, it's going about. To not very uh, good high f rate of fire, this. But kills them nonetheless. Hang on, there was another one. Oh shit, no, I need to go up there. Uh, follow the enemies. Come on, you. Hey. Oh, that was a nice shot. Oh no, I can't get up there. Can I? <laughs> Shit. Right, I'm gonna have to go the long way. Damn cough.
Oh, I'm going to have to do the bloody nitros, the nitro pipes again. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Yeah. If you shoot him twice, you kill him. Oh! Nature of stories. Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, mm. myths, and fables. Yep. Whoa. Uh... Um... Oh, I can actually get straight in. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Oof. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. Mm. It's classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one now. If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. It's too big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is gonna do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. <laughs> ah, I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. MacGyvered. Okay, now, guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? That is one weird, creepy guy. Well, I love the character. Right. Yes, it has. Right, so that's installed. Take care of it. Before you go, 
If you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. Okay, we'll explain a few things. Go on then. We'll go up there and explain a few things if she wants. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time loop. That's utterly insane. How could that be? I can't really explain it. I suppose I could call it magic. I don't believe in magic. Neither do I. But I can't argue with what I've experienced. Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it. I need the rest of it. Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? I... yes. All right. <clears throat> I realize that you have trouble believing this. That's an understatement. Yeah. I can't deny that what you say resonates with me on some level I don't pretend to understand. But for all I know, I'm simply delusional. But it's not just you. I've experienced the same thing as you. Doesn't that make sense, at least? Maybe. On the other hand, given your appearance and the fact that you're trying to convince me that I'm not insane, perhaps you're merely a hallucination that accompanies my delusions. You're not having a psychotic episode, Doctor. Huh. For what it's worth, I'm a skeptic by nature. I completely understand your reluctance to believe me. There are people caught so deep in their psychosis that they retroactively manufacture memories and beliefs that conform to the situation at hand. Sure, but you have to stop second-guessing yourself at some point, if you want to get something done. Right, let's go to the primary... Secure the primary pipes. Probably not on there then. I thought it might have been on there. There's a manuscript somewhere down there. Oh, there's a manuscript up here as well. Hang on, we'll get that manuscript up here and then we'll try and find the other one down there. There's a manuscript here. The Taken. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. Oh shit.
One shot, one kill. Whoa, fucking hell. That other one went. Oh no, 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 no. I know where it is. Oh shit. Yeah, there it is. When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about it. Before. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. Hmm. Oops. These beings hate the light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and tune the area that way. Doctor, can you hear me? I think we're good to go. All right. I'll start looking for the signal. Please head back. Oh shit. Didn't like that vehicle. They smashed up my car. Mm. Whoa, fuck it. Oh, fucking hell. Right, they did not like that.
Okay, now. So. Right. Oh, fuck it out. Right. <coughs> 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 Need to get some more health. signal now. I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. What's on your mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing, provided that they survive these creatures, that is. You seem to be quite adept at dealing with the situation. Why is that? Yes, I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. <laughs> I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to contain it and free my wife. But I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways. And I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Was there anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, reality is much more fluid than people think. It can be influenced. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer. And under certain conditions, I can, for lack of a better word, rewrite reality. Change things. That's absurd. But it works. So you mean, I believe this? Why don't you simply, I don't know, write yourself some superpowers? It's not quite that simple. You need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to think about consistency and symbolism. Often what you write isn't anywhere near as important as what you imply. There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. Do you really believe in this? Don't look at me like that. You've experienced some of this yourself. I will gladly admit that something exceedingly strange is going on. But this idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. Leaving aside the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well, it's more like having a destiny. A path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference does it make? It's what every writer does. If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's all right to take advantage of someone if they aren't aware of it? Look, all I meant was that if you're genuinely making all your own decisions, and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I suppose that depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities, or natural reality, which is presumably neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. If we suffer as a result of those choices, there's a moral and ethical element involved, regardless of whether we're aware of its manipulations. Wouldn't you agree? I... You're taking this very well. I thought you'd be hangry. I suppose I would be if I thought you could actually do this. <laughs> well, that's a philosophical way of looking out. Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete, but it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, they will hold back the darkness. Oh, we've got to say it again.
Oh, yeah. Welcome to the theatre. The man came to the drive in. Mm. It did not end well. Yeah. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough. He hopes. Serena's probably out of her mind again, but I'm going to need that key so I can get the power back on. Yeah. Uh, one weird woman. To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing or far-ranging and momentous. My area of expertise, the written word, gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality, but so can <laughs> what you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. Right, well, I'm gonna... Um, I'm not going to end it, I'm just going to take a little bit of a break, so uh, I'll be back in a second. Alright, see you in a moment. Oh, shit. Right, I am back. Uh, yep, sorry about that, I needed to uh, just use the nature call, then I need to, uh, well, you know... Um, but anyway, right, so we need to pick up the generator built, so pick up, uh, pick up the generator building key, yeah, uh, right, so I need to get into here, don't I? You again? I'm really just here to get the keys so I can the power back on. You wanna hold me down? <laughs> Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. I could be like your wife, little wifey, waiting at home for hubby. Or you could be the mailman or the neighbor. I'm already married to someone who isn't crazy, thanks. I'm just going to go and get the power back on. Oh, key oh, dokey. Be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on, you should totally come see me. We could have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. You should sit down or something. Try to stay calm. I don't want to be calm. I want to be nasty. I want to be nasty with you. Yeah. Yeah. You could do anything you want. You can use my... Let's not even go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Mm. We get the idea. Um. Right. Well. Where's this? Is there a, um... I was about to do the weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about me before. You think about that a lot? Yeah, not a lot, to be honest, but uh, I take it you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any conclusions you care to share, uh, Ricky? Well, we've got free will, right? That's in the Bible and everything. Yeah, right. Sure. So free will, right? Am I right? I mean, if we can do what we want, how can there be fate? I mean, you don't know what's going to happen next. So there's no fate. There's just people doing stuff. Well, I don't know, Ricky. I don't suppose you have considered the possibility that we're all here in the service of a greater purpose. Incomprehensible to us. And that what we take to be freedom is nothing more than the move of a pawn on some cosmic chessboard. Limited in scope, subject to the whims of unseen players. 
existing only for their entertainment. Or perhaps we just a twisted reflection of actual events that can happen elsewhere. Could it be that such is life in Night Springs? Um, dude, what? Food for thought, Ricky. Food for thought. Yeah, food for thought. Weird. Very weird. Alright, uh, there's this manuscript somewhere around here, isn't there? Ah, ah, there it is. My right ear's block got worse. I didn't sleep much anymore. My life with Alice seemed like a constant hmm. fight. I was a wreck. Alice took steps. She booked a vacation in Bright Falls, a small town in Washington. It was supposed to be a chance to break out of the cycle I was in. She didn't know about the darkness in Cauldron Lake. Right. So now we need to restore the power. Oops. Shit. Oh, fucking hell. See what's up, what is up there? Souvenirs. Summer up here. Oh, crossbow. Shotgun crossbow. Oh, shit. Ouch. Whoa. Fucking hell. Uh, equilibrium. I have changed. I know who I am now. I know that I can write my own fate. Bright Falls taught me that. I know that indulging my weaknesses, giving in to fear and complacency will only drag me down. The Dark Place taught me that. I'm no Zen master. I've not attained enlightenment. But I have learned to let go of the things that I don't need. I know that without that balance within, I become my own worst enemy. Now I strive for equilibrium, and with that, I'm strong enough to get where I want. Whoops. Just bloody hell. Right. Oh no, I can't open that. Oh. Let's have the sh oh. 
Ô oh. Bloody hell. It. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw something down there. town that is, it's probably Night Springs. <laughs> Chapel Gunk. It's obvious that for all his power, Mr. S is an agent of another greater being. The dark place he came from is full of terrible alien intelligences, dark presences. One of them should be let loose in our world. He serves one of them. He'll open the way for them if I don't stop him. But he'll do more. He'll take over my life. He already has my face. Hmm. He already uses my name. He'll become Alan Wake in every way imaginable and corrupt everything. Unless I can stop him. Just look at her. Hmm. She's really beautiful, isn't she? Your wife. Well, our wife, really. <laughs> Just my wife's own. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to treat her like the others. She's special. If I wanted her dead, she would be. I've been around for a while now. <sighs> so talented. You haven't seen your new work, of course. Oh, it takes my breath away. Really, she's that good. Oh. Did you know that I've got a wedding ring, too? We're that similar. She's seen me a couple times, you know. I've let her catch glimpses. She thinks she's imagining things, of course. She thinks you're dead. You might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my god. You're alive. I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. One day, somehow, it'll happen. Maybe I'll slip up, and she spots something, or maybe she just starts running around. And then, I'll do it. It's gonna be sweet.
Okie dokie, right, um... I've got to bring the power on. Oh no, actually, do I need to go down there? Shit. Oh. Yeah, I think it's down there. Oops. Oh, have I gone round the wrong way? Shit, I think I've gone around the wrong way. Oh, hang on, there's a manuscript here. I didn't pick up last time. The trap Mr. has set for me is as simple as it is impossible. Whenever I reach him, he sends me back to the beginning of the maze. It's a loop in time. I go through it only to end up where I started. There's a brutal genius to it. If I die, it's over for me. If I survive, I end up where I started. Sooner or later, the odds will catch up with me. And in the meantime, he gets to toy with me. That's why I have a chance. He's caught in this pattern just as much as I am. I know where he'll be, and I'm prepared. Yep. Right. Oh, hang on. There's another manuscript. The plan. I have created the weapon that can put an end to this. A blueprint to a new reality. All I have to do is survive long enough to use it. My arrival from the dark place will be painful and difficult. These pages may be lost. But one way or another, I'll send the parts I really need to myself. If I make it outside, I have a chance. Mr. is more powerful than I am, but he can't change the rules in the middle of the game. He's not a creator. I am. Well, there's another... Bloody hell, I'm getting all these manuscripts now. Uh, where is it now? Oh, in the boot. It's been two years since I came here. Being that long without Alice breaks my heart. And I know it broke hers. Hmm. I know she thinks I'm dead. How could I blame her for that? It would be a crime to pretend that she owes me anything. She took all the stupid, self-indulgent bullshit I brought into her life and still stood by me. Still loved me. It's no betrayal. But I'm a better person now than I used to be. I want to be that person with her. Uh, how the hell did they get down to that thing, though? Oh, say, do. Uh, we'll try down here. Like a little hamster in a wheel. Go ahead and keep running for all the good it'll do you. Hmm. Right, I'm very sorry about that. It, um, 
it seemed to have just crashed then i don't know why the hell that happened um but yep we're back here to restore the power and i think after this i'm gonna end it um i think after we restore the power i'm gonna probably end it Shit. That's it. Okay, now. Right. We need to find out. Oh, assault rifle. Yes. That's it. So, oh, finally healed. Serena. For Serena Valdivia. Valdivia, that's it. More of an exception than a rule. <laughs> perfectionist. She often worked when she was a <laughs> Tonight was especially important. The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was mm. still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet. Shh. Right. Oh, I'm gone. It's been two years since I came here. Being that long without oh. us breaks my heart. Yeah, that's we've already seen that one. Oh, that's probably outside. Right, now I remember the, um, I remember the coal, I remember the, the switch, it's that one on, and that one on. So it's, it's right, it's the same, Puzzle. Oh no, maybe it's not. Maybe it's that one on as well. Okay, well it's different. Oh.
Oh, shit. Uh... Bloody hell, got... Ah. The dark place is utterly hostile to human life. It eats at your mind, wants you to succumb to madness. Your own thoughts can turn against you. Every shadow conceals a threat that attacks at the slightest sign of weakness. You're under endless assault. Every day is a struggle for survival. But I've learned to take care of myself. I focus on Alice, our life together, my need to be with her. That takes me a long way in the dark place. As long as I have my gun mm. and the flashlight. Right. So now you need to get to the projector building. Bloody hell. Oh, wow. Well. If you die, you lose. If you quit, you lose. If you make it to the end of the loop, you still lose. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, this weapon's not that good for the uh further rifles actually. Uh 
Right, we need to take these three structures out. We need to take that one out. Shit. Shit. That's it. Where's the other structure now? That's much easier to do. Set. That is much more simpler way to do it. We should work that one out before. Alright, now we need to go to the projector room. late at night, the summer is almost over, the film is was no poster vis the film was no poster visible spotlight illuminated the red fire extinguisher right so is that one? Poster film no visible. Spotlight illuminate the red fire extinguisher. Uh. Ah! Hmm. 
Oh shit. You're trying to be cute, aren't you? What you up to? It's a waste of time, buddy. You should just lie down and die. Let me take over. This is the only thing you've got coming to you. From here to eternity. No matter how many times you come back. Right, that seems to be it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time on another video. Please don't forget to click the links down below and uh, yep, yeah, I will see you all next time on another video. Bye for now. Bye.